Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly, truly appreciated and welcome back. You guys, today I'm unboxing a new fragrance from Chanel, oh my gosh. I am so excited they released it in August 2020, of course, because it is my birthday month. And yes, I'm still celebrating my birthday all month long. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. And of course, I'm a huge fragrance lover. So if that sounds like anything that you like or you be into, please consider hitting the subscribe button. You guys, I am super excited. I cannot wait. Let's jump into this unboxing. Here it is. Okay, quick backstory. So my client advisor reached out to me before it even launched and it came out and he wanted to invite me to a launch party that they were having um, and it was going to be on the same weekend as my birthday weekend. So I was like, I cannot come, I already have plans. However, here's my credit card, send it to me. He was like, no problem. So I got it in the mail, looked at it. I did not want to unbox it. I wanted to wait for you guys, but you guys know how I am. I got super excited, so I unboxed it a little bit. Besides, it's gonna help me give you a little bit better of a review. All right, enough talking, let's go. Box comes like this. Oh my gosh, okay you guys, not, I try to keep a little bit of the wrapping on. It didn't really stay. I believe this here is my receipt, ta-da! And let's just go ahead and open it. I have, I didn't really go into it, into it. I just looked at it briefly, okay? So you know how the camellia is nicely sealed there on there. I always think that's like a little black camellia. I don't know you guys, I could be making that up, you already know. I'm going to open it. So this is what the box looks like inside. Let's just go ahead and take out what we've been waiting for. And here it is here, Lo Privé, which actually, which actually means private water. I've got to research that and find out, you know, what's going on with that. You guys, this is the first nighttime scent. And when you think nighttime scent, you're thinking, oh my gosh, wear it out, date night, girls night. No, to bed night. <laughs> this is a bedtime scent. I think this is the first time I've actually seen a fragrance made specifically to wear to bed. A lot of my fragrances that are light, kind of creamier, sultrier, you know, I do wear those to bed. I just don't spray as heavy and they get the job done. But however, this one was made strictly to be worn to bed so let's get into this and just see I have already sprayed it and I have already done like a slight wear test I didn't wear it to bed I did wear it through the day and it performed let's talk about that so let's talk about the frosted glass bottle which is absolutely gorgeous it still has the iconic Chanel Coco Mademoiselle shape the bottle is frosted it's really pretty I love this clear cap here you guys this is everything I absolutely love it this flanker looks a lot to me like all of the other Chanel flankers this is a cap here gorgeous 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 and it just makes me happy it clacks back on it is heavily weighted you can pick it up for the cap the cap is very very secured and I really do like that about it and then this is just what it says here if you can see the name Le Privé. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it just so we can get that out of the way uh, and let's look at the mist runner. Here it is here. Oh so it is very finely mist as well. Did you just see that? It's a nice atomizer, nice spray. It comes out very finely mist. It doesn't, you know, scoot out very hard or anything like that. I love the color of the juice. It's simply gorgeous, and I know it's gonna look super, super pretty on my vanity. I cannot wait to add this into my Coco Mademoiselle collection as well. I had to have this, you guys, okay? You know I had to have this. I love wearing fragrances to bed. This is supposed to be like you get out of the shower, you spray this on, it's the last thing you do before you go to bed I know some of us I don't know what your nighttime routine is let me know if your nighttime routine includes fragrance I know I do my moisturizer my under eye cream um, I moisturize my hands the back of my hands you know and then I will sometime you know spray a fragrance lightly right before bed normally it's more of like a you know something like lavender eucalyptus something like that but this is like really sexy and since we're all in the house and we haven't been able to get out and really go anywhere this is a fragrance that you can look forward to spraying at the end of the day because it is totally meant to be wore to bed so great job to Chanel for coming out with the fragrance while we're all in the house to wear to bed I think that's brilliant okay so back to it you guys know I get so excited okay I get so excited but I'm gonna try and contain and give you everything that this fragrance is given to me so like I said let me give you a little bit about it this does come in two sizes it comes in a 3.4 fluid ounce and it also comes in a 1.7 fluid ounce for the 3.4 it's gonna retail for $125 
US dollars that is and for the 1.7 ounce it is going to retail for $95 I do not know if this is being sold in the regular department stores but I do know that you can find this on Chanel boutique and if you go into your local department stores and they have a Chanel boutique in there you are able to pick it up there like I said I did receive mine from my client advisor he actually sent it over to me before it even launched but I'm sure you're able to get it now I don't know when this video is going to go live but I've already checked for you on Chanel boutique.com and you are able to order it there just a heads up in case you love Chanel just as much as she does oh my gosh okay so back to it you guys this was also created by Olivier Poge who's been working with Chanel forever he is the son of Jacques Poge so there's some history there let me give you a little bit of the notes because it is slightly different when you do originally spray it you do get the Coco Mademoiselle vibes you do get that scent you do get the fragrance it definitely gives you oh this is Coco Mademoiselle however you know how Coco Mademoiselle when you initially spray the actual Coco Mademoiselle fragrance it's very sharp it's very strong it's very in your face very heavy patchouli based you're not going to get that as much with the bedtime scent it is a little bit in my opinion toned down it is much much lighter you know how you can wear Coco Mademoiselle and it can last you all day eight to ten hours beast mode you just know that it's going to be with you all day this does dry down and turns into a skin scent yes it sits close to the body it goes onto the body and it seems like it engulfs itself in the body it definitely wraps around your skin so if you happen to be in bed with someone I'm just saying <laughs> You can be assured that you will not offend them or disturb the peace, but if they happen to come into your personal space and you become one and get really close, you are going to smell very sensual, very pretty, and very sexy, right? And who doesn't want to smell like that? I mean, come on. Some of the notes in this fragrance, it's a light floral. It has white musk, jasmine, rose petal accord, and citrus, and that's what I get from it as well. It doesn't say that it has patchouli in it, but I'm sure it does because I kind of smell it in the dark deep background of the fragrance at least in my opinion that's what I'm getting from it I've only worn it once you know and like I said just midday um, and I was just trying to see how it felt what the longevity was this is not going to be a longevity fragrance this is not going to be something that's going to get on and perform and do beast mode none of that kind of stuff are you getting from this fragrance you are really just getting a bedtime nighttime scent now here I will go a step further although this is a bedtime scent and you are you know it is set and meant to be worn to bed I actually think that if you're a person and you like Coco Mademoiselle and you're like, it's just a bit too strong or, you know, I really don't want to do the most. She loves doing the most, but not everybody does. So just in case you're like, I don't really want to do that much today. You can wear this in the day. It is designed, it is created to be worn to bed, to be worn at night, but you already know what she says. Spray what makes you happy. And if you want a lighter version of Coco Mademoiselle, this would be a great way to go. What do I think about the price point? Um, It's Chanel and I just think that it's classic Chanel prices. It is what it is. You are paying a pretty penny for a skin scent, but if you are a Chanel lover, if you are a lover of Coco Mademoiselle, you probably have got to have this in your collection, just as I do myself. I could not wait. Now, I wanna take it a tad bit further. Coco Mademoiselle, the original that came out in 2001, I had to make sure I looked down at my notes, came out in 2001, is really, really good, classic, iconic. This is one of the number one fragrances, okay? Number one. It's a amazing and you might say okay so how does it compare to this like I said this is just much lighter now I'm going to go and say too here is Coco Mademoiselle this is the intense version this smells a lot different from this this smells way more sexier way more intense it's way more amplified and it's just sexy it is good good so in my opinion the original one is amazing I would wear this to work I would wear this to church I would wear this to brunch I would wear this out right if I was going to go for Coco Mademoiselle Intense, I would wear this on date night. I find this to be sexy. I find it to be definitely a nighttime fragrance for me. You could wear it on a day date as well, but it just performs really well at night. And I just feel that it is amplified and it has a little bit more of a sensual vibe to it than the original. 
office date night. Okay, I move on. Now, let's say you're saying, I just, you guys, I just wanna bring you all the facts, okay? I just wanna bring you all the facts. Let's say, Sheree, I can't get my fragrances to last, they don't perform, they don't stay on all day. What do you recommend I do? That's one scenario. Or you might be like, Coco Mademoiselle is a beautiful fragrance and I absolutely love it, but it's a bit too strong for me. What do you recommend I do? That's scenario two. I'm going to give you answers to both of those. If you want your fragrances to last longer, you guys, here is the, hope you can see it here. I've spoke about this on the channel before, but this is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This is a body velvet oil. You can spray this on. This is definitely going to help and ensure that your fragrance lasts all day. I also come out of the shower and layer it with this, which is a Coco Mademoiselle Body Cropes Lotion. I always talk about this, absolutely love this. You can also pick all these up on the Chanel.com website. Both of these, all of these, everything I'm talking about today can be ordered online from the Chanel Boutique online. So you can have that delivered right to your doorsteps. I already told you how beautiful and amazing the packaging is. It is like receiving luxury, or it is luxury, right to your doorstep so if you do want your fragrances to last longer layer them with the body oil or the body lotion or do like she does and layer it with both now if you're saying coco mademoiselle is entirely too strong perhaps you just want to try the lotion and the nighttime scent that might be a way to go for you or you might want to try the body oil and the nighttime scent. Both are gonna give you a lighter version of the Coco Mademoiselle original. All right, you guys, I think that is it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. I don't think that this is a whole lot to try and figure out. I just think, like I said, it's a beautiful fragrance. It's a nighttime bed scent. It is a skin scent. It is very soft. It is very sexy. It is very velvety. It has a very nice fine mist that I showed you. And she absolutely loves it. Leave any questions that you have in the comment section below. Let me know if you're going to get this fragrance. Let me know if you've already ordered this fragrance. Hey, let me know if you already have this fragrance. What are your thoughts on it? What did you feel about it? Leave it in the comment section below. I would love to know. Oh yeah, and I wanna say thank you so much to everyone, you guys, we did hear 20k on the channel i could have not done this without you i truly truly appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much it means a lot because i so enjoy this and to know that you all enjoy it as well just really means a lot to me so thank you thank you thank you you guys let me show you the other stuff hold on a second don't leave yet I forgot to show you the other stuff. I was so excited about the fragrance. They did send out this little sample bag. Thank you, MJ. Thank you so much for sending everything over. I truly appreciate you. MJ is my SA at Chanel Boutique at Fashion Island. So here is this here. This is a mascara. Okay, and then what is this? Ooh, the La Lift. I haven't tried this one yet. I think I have, I can't recall. But these are some nice samples here. This is a part of the skincare line, so I cannot wait to try and play with those. And then I do have in here a hand cream. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be perfect to go in my handbag today because I'm carrying a really small handbag out today and I couldn't carry my big egg Chanel cream lotion, but this is gonna go perfect. This is the Chanel little cream lotion, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna use this today. MJ, thank you. Of course, I've ordered another fragrance from Chanel, but that's that's gonna be shown in another video, so stay tuned for that. And then inside of here, it did come with, oh my God, there's so many samples. Look at this, it's a cute little sign. And it just says, do not disturb. So that goes with the whole bedtime scent thing too. You can put this on your door if you plan on having one of those kind of evenings. You guys, hello, I'm just saying, okay? I don't know what people are doing out here these days. But just in case you are, here's a nice little something to put on your door. Please do not disturb. And it has the Chanel logo. And then on the other side here, it just says Coco Mademoiselle. And then it says Lo Privé. Oh my God, that's super cute. I, you know I'm gonna put that on my door. I'm definitely gonna put that somewhere in my closet. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, you guys, we're not done. What is this? Hold on a second, I didn't see this. I told you I didn't open it. Oh, <gasps> you guys, look. So it comes with this, and it says do not disturb in this little pouch. And then would you look at this? Oh, <gasps> oh yes. This is gonna go so nice with my silk pillowcases. This is so me, it's so extra. You already know, this is so me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, MJ. And then in here, you guys, I just have a ton, a ton of different samples. That is it, you guys. I was super, super excited. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this release from Chanel. Let me know your thoughts below. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, 
stay fabulous, but more importantly, wear your mask and be safe. Thanks for watching. Bye.